It's Friday, May 2nd, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is DX Daily. TMZ caught up with Suge Knight outside of One Oak in Los Angeles last night. During a slurred rant, the Death Row Records founder restated his belief that Tupac is alive. You'll have a motherfucker walk down the street and say Suge Knight killed Tupac, Suge said. When everybody know off top, I ain't the one that killed Tupac. I'm the one that protected Tupac. But at the same time, bitch ass Puffy can get a motherfucking star and every rat in the world says he's the one that killed Tupac or had him shot. But if you notice, it was a rat on television saying he was the one who did the shooting. Why do you think nobody been arrested if they said they the one killed Tupac? Because Tupac's not dead. If he was dead, they'd be arresting those dudes for murder. You know he's somewhere smoking a Cuban cigar on an island somewhere. On September 7th, 1996, Tupac Shakur was shot multiple times during a drive-by shooting while in Las Vegas, Nevada. He was pronounced dead six days later. Suge Knight was riding in the vehicle with Tupac. LA Night Spot Supper Club released a statement regarding the standoff this week between TI, game, private security guards, and the LAPD. In the statement, Supper Club describes the event as an unfortunate escalation between an angry onlooker who was denied entry to Supper Club and a rogue security officer who took matters too far that led to an untenable altercation which represented the worst in all of us. The statement also confirms that although T.I. and Game were in the parking lot during the incident, they were not directly involved. Supper Club also says that community leader Big U of Developing Options was in fact not arrested, contrary to reports, and had no part of this altercation. Supper Club promises that the third party security company will never ever ever again be hired by the venue. Now on to battle rap. Joe Budden's upcoming match against Hollow the Don is dominating conversations. In an interview with Angry Fans Radio, Budden discussed the reasoning behind his decision to step into the ring. He also questions Cassidy's recent assertion that stepping back into battle rap is actually taking a step backwards. That's bullshit, he said. You have to be able to recognize bullshit when you see it. Cassidy is not getting paid loaded lux money right now from anywhere. I'm just talking logic. This is no offense to Cassidy, no disrespect to him and his ability, but you're not getting $50,000 from anywhere. I can name plenty of people that maybe got gobbled up in the mainstream machine of labels and politics that thanks to Smack and Norbs and UW and King of the Dot and all the leagues that have been here before Total Slaughter have opened an avenue for. In recent years, prospective matches between industry artists and battle rappers have been discussed but rarely executed, such as Busta Rhymes vs. Loaded Lux. However, in 2012, Cannabis battled disaster during King of the Dots Blackout 4. He was subsequently ridiculed for reading his last verse off of a notepad. Those were the day's top headlines. For more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.